Now let's take a look at the next filter circuit, which is MS2. My understanding is this is based on the Korg MS20. This circuit really only allows for a low pass filter and a high pass filter. Once again, we have the drive feature, which works somewhat like a tone control. It does create distortion, but you'll notice compared to the OSR, model, the MS2 model is a little more subtle in its distortion characteristics. We switch to the OSR, it's a little more brittle, whereas the MS2 is a little softer, a little warmer. MS2 has a great feature, which is that the high pass filter has a very rich bass response. So if we go ahead and we switch to a high pass filter, we'll find that this particular filter cutoff is now going to have a little richer bass response. than if we were to use a high pass filter of another kind. Sounds more brittle, whereas the MS2 has a little more depth and a little more warmth. So if you're going to be using a high pass filter, that in my opinion is where the MS2 really stands out. If you kind of want to have a little bit of bass response present, but you fundamentally want the sculpting timbre of a high pass filter, then an MS2, which is based on the Korg MS20, is the way to go. Adding drive is a great way to just kind of fatten up the sound and accentuate the analog circuitry that's being modeled here. Next, we're going to look at the SMP filter circuit.